When Chidi was just eight years old, he went on a boat trip with his family in Lagos. They were cruising around the waters near Lagos Island, enjoying the sun and the cool breeze. Chidi was a curious child, always looking for adventure. As the boat moved along, he noticed something strange in the water. He leaned over the edge, staring into the deep blue sea. In it, he saw a flash of movement, something bright and beautiful beneath the surface. Without thinking, he jumped overboard to see what it was, even though he didn't know how to swim. As he sank deeper into the water, he felt afraid. But then, a miracle happened. A young girl appeared next to him. She looked at him with kind eyes and reached out her hand. When Chidi took her hand, he suddenly found that he could breathe underwater. He wasn't scared anymore. He felt safe with her. They stayed like that for a few moments, just holding hands under the water. But before he could understand what was happening, he was pulled back up to the surface by his father. The girl disappeared into the water. Everyone thought Chidi had imagined what he said he saw in the water, that he was just dreaming or had a near-death experience. They never believed he saw a girl, but Chidi remembered her. He remembered how he felt. He would never forget. Twenty years later, Chidi was a grown man. He and his older brother, Emeka, ran a fruit and vegetable business. Emeka was the opposite of Chidi. He liked to party and date many women. Chidi, on the other hand, felt empty inside. He had been in many relationships, but none of them felt right. He kept searching for something, a feeling he couldn't explain. He didn't know what it was, but he knew he was missing it. He was always thinking about the girl he saw in the water all those years ago, even though he had since convinced himself it was just his imagination. One day, after yet another failed relationship, Chidi decided to return to Lagos Island. He thought maybe going back to the place where it all started would help him find peace. He rented a small motorboat and went out on the water. As he sailed, he noticed a strange man nearby, an eccentric university lecturer and scientist named Dr. Jibril. Dr. Jibril was diving and doing some research. Chidi didn't pay much attention to him, but suddenly his boat engine started again by itself. The boat jerked forward and Chidi lost his balance and fell into the water, hitting his head. Everything went black. When Chidi woke up, he was on the beach. He opened his eyes and saw a beautiful young woman standing over him. She was completely naked with long hair flowing down her back. She smiled at him, but she didn't say anything. She leaned down and kissed him softly. Then, without a word, she ran into the sea and dove into the water. Chidi tried to call out to her, but he was too weak. He watched as she disappeared into the waves, and at that moment he realized she was the same girl he saw when he was a child. But how could that be? She hadn't aged at all. Meanwhile, Dr. Jibril saw the whole thing from a distance. He was shocked. He had been searching for proof of mermaids for years, and now he was convinced he had seen one with his own eyes. The next day, Chidi was back in Lagos mainland, trying to make sense of what happened. Suddenly, he got a call from the police. They told him that a woman had been arrested for walking naked at the beach near the statue of Ayo. She had no identification, but she had Chidi's wallet. Confused but curious, Chidi went to the police station. When he got there, he saw the same woman from the beach. She smiled at him as if she knew him. He felt a strange connection with her, something deep and unexplainable. She could barely speak English, but she was eager to explore her environment. She was released and Chidi took her home. On their way home, he asked for her name, but she couldn't say it in any human language. So she looked around and saw a street sign that said, Amina Street. She decided to call herself Amina. Later, Amina told Chidi that she was in Lagos for only six fun-filled days. She explained that if she didn't return to the sea before the moon changed, she would be trapped on land forever. Chidi didn't understand, but he felt drawn to her. 
Despite her strange behaviour, he found himself falling in love with her. She was different from anyone he had ever met. She was full of life and curiosity. He proposed to her, but she refused and ran away. After some time, she came back and agreed to marry him. Chidi was so excited because he has finally found the love of his life, with whom he will soon be spending the rest of his life. Dr. Jibril had been following Amina and Chidi, convinced that Amina was a mermaid. He tried to prove it by throwing water on her, but his attempts always failed. His colleagues at the university laughed at him, thinking he was crazy. But Dr. Jibril was determined. Finally, he decided to crash a dinner party where he knew Amina would be. He brought a hose and in front of everyone sprayed Amina with water. Her legs transformed into a mermaid's tail, right there in front of everyone. The crowd gasped in shock. The police rushed in to take her away. They locked her up in a secret lab where they planned to study her. Dr. Jibril, seeing Amina wither away in captivity, began to feel guilty. He hadn't wanted this. He just wanted to prove mermaids existed. Now, he regretted everything. Chidi was devastated when he found out the truth that his wife-to-be was a mermaid. He was angry and felt betrayed. But his brother Emeka, who always seemed not to care, told him he was the happiest he had ever been with Amina. Chidi realised he still loved her, no matter what she was. He found Dr. Jibril and begged for his help to rescue Amina. Feeling guilty and rejected by his colleagues, Dr. Jibril agreed. They planned a rescue mission. Chidi, Emeka and Dr. Jibril disguised themselves as foreign lab technicians and sneaked into the lab. They managed to free Amina, but as they were escaping, Emeka stayed behind to hold off the guards. Dr. Jibril tried to stop the military from catching Chidi and Amina, but it was too late. Chidi and Amina ran to seaport, with the soldiers close behind them. Amina told Chidi that he could live underwater with her, just like he did when he was a child, as long as they were together. She warned him that if he chose to go with her, he could never return to the land. Chidi thought about it for a moment. He knew his life would never be the same without her. Just as the soldiers were about to capture them, Amina dove into the water. Chidi hesitated, but then he jumped in after her. At first he struggled, but then Amina kissed him and he could breathe underwater again. They swam away together, fighting off the frogmen sent to capture them. They swam deeper and deeper into the ocean, heading toward a beautiful underwater kingdom. Chidi felt free. He didn't know what the future held, but he knew one thing. He was finally where he was meant to be, with Amina, the girl from his childhood dreams.